Hi, my name is Natalie, and this is Natalie Lawyer Chick. I'll be discussing popular topics through a legal lens. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, YouTube. My name is Natalie. I'm a criminal defense attorney. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, so today, I'm going to be reacting to a video that has been sent to me by multiple viewers. It's called Judge Fights Lawyer. So, um... Let's get right into it. <laughs> Just based on the title alone, my goodness. <laughs> Let's get right into it. We call district court the Wild West because um, <laughs> literally anything could happen there. You could show up and your case could be resolved or it could be a crazy trial or a fight could break out. District court is just a crazy, crazy place. Um, looks like the state has filed a two-count information. One is battery, domestic violence. The other is disorderly conduct. Conduct. You have the public defender. Okay. This is Ms. Rodriguez, public defender. What do you want to do? Pocket time. Um, tomorrow? Your discretion. Well, it's going to expire before I can get them in. So, it's not my emergency. Oh. Question. You want to set it for you, trial? You can set it for trial if you want to set it for trial instead. Sure. Well, you I'm not waiving. That's if the, if the oh, question okay. is, am I waiving? That's the answer easy. is, That's I'm easy. not waiving. Just say it. Okay, I'm not waiving. I, I don't care. I don't care either. I'm I just needed to set it for a date. Well, normally we go to Dr. Tony after that. If you want to go to trial, we'll set up for trial. That's fine. All right. Speedy trial. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so it seems like there's some issue with the judge's docket where unless the, the attorney waives the right to speedy trial, the judge can't uh, get it set in in a timely fashion. So that goes to the benefit of defense counsel and the defendant, because if you can't set the trial in in a speedy fashion, you can move to dismiss for violation of the client's right to a speedy trial. But... And so, you know, the defense counsel is completely right to say, I'm not waiving anything. So we refuse to waive. And so, you know, we assert the right to speedy trial. And so set it in for trial in a timely fashion. If you're unable to do that, you know, that's the court's issue. But the way he's talking to the judge makes me wonder if they have some type of pre-existing issue or something like that. I don't know. But they clearly, he's just being very kind of rude, you know, just... Just assert like, okay, we do have a chatty judge here, but he's not being necessarily mean or anything to anyone. And all he has to do is say, I assert my client's right for a speedy trial um, and I refuse to waive. Now, this might be a longstanding issue with this court not setting things in a timely fashion. And that is, it does violate people's constitutional rights. I'm just not sure why the attorney is like on 10 so soon, you know? I watched the whole thing to try to see if there was something else before this that, you know, they got into, but I don't see that. That is June 9th at 830. Okay. All right, that's a mandatory court date for you. You don't want to be late that day. If you haven't talked to your lawyer, you need to get it done, right? All right. Sir. Mr. Runkles? Yes, sir. Two charges of assault and resisting. You have the public defender. Public defender, what do you want to do? Have they filed? They have. I'm not waiting. All right. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I'm not waiting. You want to set up for trial? Set up for trial. All right. Hey, if you want to set up for docket signing, set up for docket signing. I'm not waiting in any case. This, this is an you know, if I had a rock, I would throw it at you right now. You know, this is Stop a... pissing me off. Just sit down. I'll take care of it. I don't need your help. No, sit down. I'm the public defender. I have a right to be here, and I have a right to stand I said and sit down. Uh, okay, whoa. <laughs> what is going on here? Do these guys, like, know each other and hate each other or something like that? Did, did they go to school together? What's happening? <laughs> did one of them bully the other? I don't know what's going on. Okay, so... Uh, I don't understand the tones of voices being used for this particular issue. 
You're not going to waive. You're not going to waive the speedy trial right. You don't have to. You shouldn't, you know. Um, even if this judge has like a time management issue, just say, you know, as calmly as possible, we don't waive the right to a speedy trial. Uh, we ask that the court set the case in for trial when he's asking what you want to do. And then the judge to say, you know what, go sit down. I don't need you. Like, I don't understand that one either because it's like, you do need him. He represents that person. So he needs to be there speaking to the court. You actually can't speak to the defendant without the input of his attorney because he's represented. So I am so confused as to why they are being so nasty to each other. It's almost because it's like these are just simple procedural things. Although, again, like I said, the judge seems to be unable to run a uh, a docket in which he's setting things in a speedy fashion. And maybe this defense attorney is fed up with that or something, but you're still not allowed to speak to the court um, in that way. And the thing that I'm, it, it kind of makes me think about, okay, imagine, say you have no idea what these people are talking about, which they're talking about setting the cases in for trial. And the judge is essentially asking the defense counsel to waive the client's right to a speedy trial and the defense counsel saying that he won't. These things are not that out of the ordinary, right? So it's almost like if you went to a restaurant and you're, they're taking your order, say the judge is the waitress, right? And they're like, okay, do you want, um, what do you want? And you look at the menu and say, I want eggs Benedict. And she says, well, we don't have eggs Benedict. Okay, well, fine then, do whatever you want. And it's just like, that's a weird way to react to them being out of a certain thing that you want, right? Um, you have the right to it. You have the right to a speedy trial. And the failure uh, to set the case in a timely fashion goes to the benefit of your client. You can make a motion to dismiss, whatever the case may be. But you don't have to like talk like that to the judge and then if he turns around and says like say with the same waitress analogy if the waitress turns around and says well I wish I could throw a rock at you right now everybody in, in the uh, restaurant would turn around and be like what's going on here all because they didn't have eggs benedict that's how this looks to me that's the perspective that I have on this everyone is being ridiculous why would you throw a why would you throw a rock at anyone threatening violence because someone's being rude being rude because the judge is asking whether or not you want to waive speedy trial rights. I mean, none of this makes sense. What's going on? If you want to fight, let's go out back and I'll just let's go around. No. No. Beat your. Insane. This is they're actually fighting. He said you want to F with me. Oh no. What? Are they being kiss ups or something? That's not anything to applaud. This is completely ridiculous. This is completely out of order. Does not befit the dig the dignity of a courtroom. Completely inappropriate. That's water. <laughs> Do you want some water? Whew. All right. That was not funny.
All right. Um, your choices, considering there's probably going to be a changeover in personnel, are setting it for trial. And he's represented by counsel. You should not be talking to him. You've just assaulted his counsel, right? Talking about there's going to be a turnover in personnel. You don't know that. You don't know that. Um, because you don't know if the public defender's office is going to let him go or not. You challenged him to a fight in an open courtroom. This is completely unacceptable, completely unacceptable. And the attorney was being rude, you know, and that's also unacceptable. But as the judge, you control the courtroom and how people behave in the courtroom and you get off the bench and go fight with the public defender. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Any future case involving that attorney, everyone's going to say that you that you should be recused because you are. And if it's a small place with only one or two public defenders, good luck, you know, because you're going to be biased because you fought this guy. This is uh, I don't like that at all. This is horrible. Which would be uh, June 9th. You shouldn't even be talking to him. At 8.30. Or if you were wanting to waive Speedy, we would set it for July 15th. Don't waive anything. I would like to get it done as fast as possible. That doesn't help me. Yes, it does, because his attorney has already said he was not waiving. So you already have the, see, this is shady. You already have the position of his counsel. You shouldn't even be talking to him. And his counsel said he wasn't waiving anything. And now the client has said, I want to get this done as quickly as possible. You know that means he does not want to waive. You know the state won't have their case ready by the earlier date, right? They're not going to have their stuff together. So when he shows up after asserting his speedy trial, the case will probably have to be dismissed. If this man gets now pressured into going with the later trial date where the state is more likely to be ready, he'll be prejudiced because the, the state will probably have their case together. And there's a right for to a speedy trial because you have the right to have your case heard within a certain period of time under the Constitution, depending on, you know, which state you're in. They all interpret that differently. This is completely like it's beyond that you fought his attorney. You fought his attorney and now you're trying to get the result that you always wanted was which was to get people to waive their right to a speedy trial. So this is something that he's been consistently doing. I could see why the attorney was upset, but the attorney is completely wrong for talking to the a judge that way, especially because to the outside ear, especially to the to people that are untrained in the law, it just sounds like you're being just rude for no reason. And you are being rude for no reason because you can assert your client's rights and represent them effectively without being disrespectful to the court. You want to set it for trial and see what happens? No. All right. Speedy trial, June 9th, 830. Okay. All right. That's all we got to do, sir. Do you have a card for your lawyer, by the way? Um, Where is the lawyer? Thank you. Wow, that was absolutely ridiculous. Um, that was <laughs> offensive, ridiculous. I hated every single second of it. The both of them were completely inappropriate and just dumb. And I am, I feel stupider for having watched that. <laughs> that is not the way to conduct a courtroom. And that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.